why the why the Debrum name is, is not the project name who is basically behind it. It's, it's the OpenSC, which is the open source smart card framework for Linux. Well, the idea is pretty simple because we do some little pieces of software that actually people don't care that much about because once you, you know, if you use it, you don't care what's behind it, you just use it. And there's not so much to say about development of OpenSC. It's pretty kind of complicated and pretty limited to the hardware devices. But the motivation for the day is that, you know, what good are the smart cards if you can't use them? So what we have collected is a bunch of talks for the day. I hope that some of the guys will stick around for longer so that we can, you know, discuss the problems that we can we should try to solve to make the make the smart cards more usable. So what we will cover is, is basically grouped into the four main themes. It's something that all the developers should actually care about most is library integration. Because most of the time when you implement cryptography you don't you don't start to do like the basic error state calculations, you just take some kind of a library, you want to use it, you want to get your you know SSL connections up, your signatures done, and you take a library that does it. So we're going to look into different libraries, and unfortunately, or fortunately, depends on how you look at it, there is uh, nothing about OpenSSL, which is probably the most, the most common, the most popular library. If you want to do like hash uh, checksums, you don't, you don't usually think you just, you know, link in OpenSSL and you get your, your SHA-1 hashes, but you know, maybe it's not the best way to do. If you want to get secure connections between two nodes on the network, maybe you shouldn't use SSL, maybe you should use SSH, for example. It's a cool protocol, I'm very, very excited to hear about it. So we're going to have like an overview of LibSSH, which is an embeddable SSH library. We're going to have a real life example of how one software component, LibCurl, or how you pronounce it, LibCurl for me, how LibCurl actually embeds a lot of, or, or includes a lot of uh, SSL library supports and support for one SSH library, of course. We're going to have an uh, introduction of uh, quite unknown to me SSL library, CI SSL, or yet another SSL library. Then we're going to have a few more technical talks about PEGSS11, which again is, is something that the end users don't really see, but developers should be very aware of because it's currently the de facto interface for cross-platform mm, integration of hardware cryptography. We're going to see how to uh, store trust, which is a very abused word, but uh, <coughs> yes, okay. Uh, well, uh, what trust means is, is, is very personal. But basically, uh, when you open like a web browser and go to a website, you get an exception that uh, this connection is not trusted and so on. What does it mean? You know, how do you to say that, remember this decision, how, how to uh, implement this in a, so to say, portable way. These are the guys from uh, Step Watch, who is not here yet, from Gnome Hearing. Uh, there's Nikos, I don't know, Nikos, not here yet. We'll uh, talk about, talk about uh, access to packets as 11 modules, which is, again, uh, a very, cumbersome thing because uh, each application does it differently and you can't like really reuse the different modules and you can't you know experience the same user experience with different programs. So this guy is from new TLS. Um, then there are some topics that cover like I'd like to say the full full cycle of, of using smart cards which starts from generating keys to issuing certificates to actually using the, the, you know, people like to say that you use certificates online, but actually you expose the keys somehow. And how you can use the keys in real life applications, you're gonna have, uh, talk about EGBCE, a very funny, funny word. <laughs> how do you pronounce it yourself? Uh, EGBCA. EGBCA, okay. No, let me spell it. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna have a very interesting talk about using, uh, electronic identities and certification in the browser context, which is actually a very, uh, 
I would say uh, an increasing problem because the the amount of different uh, software utilities and plugins and extensions and applets and whatnot that implement uh, stuff like giving signatures in online online environments, uh, it needs to have some kind of standardization and some kind of a common common objects in the future. And of course, we're going to have as the the bedroom theme is security slash hardware cryptography. We're going to have other topics that maybe don't cover cryptography in that detail, but are interesting nevertheless. We're going to have a talk about you know logging. Daniel, not here. Okay. And and about rootkits. Our rootkits can be made really simple, which is actually pretty nice because once you're rooted, you know you can't rely on any kind of hardware cryptography either. You're rooted. You're you're lost. So we have in total 11 <coughs> talks or short presentations ranging from 15 minutes to 30 minutes. And in the end, an open discussion panel uh, where basically anyone who is uh, dealing with either integrating uh, cryptography into their applications or just interested to know or from usability point of view, you know, want to know how to, how to make things better in this field is welcome to join in to discuss it and you know give some good examples of what good ideas what uh, free and open source software developers and library developers should do to actually make the life easier for everyone and the the discussion panel so to say continues in a nearby restaurant which I don't know which Aris kindly helped to organize uh, well, if you were actually subscribed to the to the mailing list of the dev room, then there should have been a link to the registration form for the dinner. So we still have a few more places. If you think you're you're really into like cryptographic software development or integration, and you know want to have a nice fair and dinner, I think it was French or Italian. 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 Italian, Italian food. Yeah. Italian food in a French restaurant. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe. So, so we still have a few seats. I think it's uh, the the upper limit was 25 persons, and there are like 22 at the moment registered. So we, we're going to know during the day if somebody will still be missing in the evening, and so we're going to have a few more seats. So if you're interested, just uh, let me or Aris know. Aris. Oh, back there. Or you can just, you know. Yes, I think there are one or two more seats for me, so that's you. One or two lucky guys. <laughs> so that's, that's basically all from me. So let the fun begin. I will, I will not uh, disturb the, the audience because, as I said, most of the job to make, to make uh, using hardware cryptography a success is not done by openness, it's just does the boring drivers. You don't care about drivers, you care about you know, going online and surfing whatever you do. So the application integrators are the ones who actually make it, make it a success. First, are we allowed to move the tables? Because maybe we could take some in the back and you can put try. them all together. You can try. The I mean, side, so that you can try. It. Oh, they're attached. <laughs> they're attached. That's hardware security. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, actually, I'd like to uh, all the presenters who are here because I don't know many myself as well. You know, if I take the list, just to say a few words, what to do. You know, introduce yourself, and we can start from Jean Michel. Oh, hello. Uh, 